to the county clerk's office, second clerk's office, and every financial institution in Magnolia, including the credit. Yeah, we got a few. Men. 
Rangers and Warriors. But see, the government is still too segregated. We talk about this situation about a year and a half ago, and now some of our council gets you away from telling this year because you don't have a new administration to start out with the administration. So our question is three prompts. What, when, and how are you going to deal with the unequal employment situation in the city hall or city government? That's one, I have two other minor issues. Question, go to you first, Mr. Mayor. And then I'd like to have the reaction of the city council and folks take all of you to start the process. Well, Mr. Moss, uh, I thank you for coming, and I'm starting my fourth week, and I need this crowd. And I do know this because right now I'm working with Russell Thomas, our wastewater superintendent, and I'm not going where you want me to, but we have a lot of young African-American men, we have a lot of white young men in our city that are convicted felons. They can't get a job. I know that if we don't help them in areas that we can with a job, they're going to revert back to their crime. I'm working with Mr. Butler, the prosecuting attorney, right now. Mr. Thomas and I to put a man to work. But if we don't, we're going to have to send him away for life and he's 24 years old. Now, I will say this to the people that work in City Hall. I mean this with all the respect and love in the world. I inherited those folks. And they're doing a fantastic job. Uh, I can't see replacing one of them if they quit or retire. Yes, sir. Because this is not the first time that I've heard this. And I hope I answered you close. But you'll get your best from me. say one of the, uh, other thing, Mr. Moss. I sit for a number of months out in the streets. So we bring all the people together. We stop chattering across the fence. We're not going to solve the problems in that new life. We do have a severe drug and crime problem. It's not just limited to certain parts of town. It's going to go all over town. So my job and, and, and what I set forth to do is to bring all the people to the table where we can solve the problems of this city. If you look around tonight, you see many of my friends, Reverend Barnes, Reverend Ellis, many that come out and support that want to see this city move forward. So I will give you my dead level best. And I also appreciate Mr. Moss for having the courage to get up and say that. Yes.
almost non-existent. Uh, the cup was uh, caving in, and, and the streets never were wide enough to park cars or pass uh, easily. So that's one of those situations where it's almost impossible right now. But at least they can be maintained, the drainage uh, taken care of, and the uh, pavement where it is, pavement street was cracked and broken. I know we had that on the city. Well, in traditional black neighborhoods, it's worse than anywhere else in the city. We all know that. That's, that's nothing new. We want to there. We want to stay with you and, and uh, see the same thing, take care of you. We have money in the budget to take care of you. Yes, sir. Mr. Franks? Yes, sir. You remember the conversation that you and I had a couple weeks ago? Yes, sir. Would you mind giving that to Mr. Moss? Um, the mayor and I discussed uh, that, that very issue. Uh, some of the uh, uh, infrastructure needs, whether it be street drainage, and and I have I have contacted Southwest Planning, and they have the ability to, to look at uh, income levels based on precincts, which would qualify some of the areas in town for some grant funds that that uh, historically have not used grant funds. Yes, uh, echo of that. Now, Mike Story has been privileged to block grants over the years, right? Yes, sir. And we have not received benefits on grants. Well, Mr. Moss, I asked Mr. Frank specifically for more to in the south part of River One. That's what we're looking for. I've got an appointment uh, on the 31st, USDA is going to be in town, and we're going to drive these neighborhoods, because in the early spring, hopefully around the 1st of May, we're going to start cleaning up some of these neighborhoods. Presently on Saturday, I'm taking community service around, and I have been in the lower parts of Ward 1 this past Saturday picking up trash and getting the town cleaned up, and we're going to take some of these properties down that are eyesore that need condemning. And we're going to try to beautify these neighborhoods. That's why I asked Mr. Franks to look and just be out there. I know this is nothing that I can do tomorrow, but I want to think outside the box and be looking down the road to improve those communities where the people that live there are proud to call it home. Good. Appreciate it.